oil prices have been on a bit of a roller coaster ride for the past 12 months. At one point, West Texas increased to $120 per barrel or thereabouts. And then it went all the way back down to $67 per barrel. And all the while, it was oscillating wildly. Now, of course, this is fed into gas prices or petrol prices, the price you pay to fill up your car, which have remained stubbornly high. This, of course, is partly due to the relatively high oil prices, but it's also due to the volatility. Because when you've got this volatility, the corporations that are buying that underlying oil need to hedge that exposure. And that hedging costs money. And this then is fed through to the consumer. OPEC has now decided to just make this whole situation worse. They had previously decided to cut production by 2 million barrels per day. And now they've cut it by even more, cutting it by another 1.16 million barrels per day, taking the total production cut to around 3.16 million barrels, or about 3.7% of global oil demand. Now this, of course, is a major hit to anyone who is trying to combat inflation, but also to general consumers. Because on the back of this, oil prices surged more than 5%. And there are fears that oil prices will go back to $100 per barrel, which is clearly not going to be great news for consumers. Now, of course, the question is, why is it that OPEC has cut production? Now, it might reflect geopolitical concerns. It might reflect a degree of allegiance to Russia. But more likely, it reflects just a degree of price management. They're trying to ensure that oil prices don't go even lower. Oil prices remain below $80 per barrel for some time. And OPEC is looking at this thinking, well, gee, it was nice when oil prices were above $80. It was nice when they were $100. We were making more money back then. So OPEC therefore decides to cut production in order to manage oil prices. And even if it doesn't force oil prices higher up toward $100 per barrel, it will arrest the decline in oil prices that we have seen over the past 12 months. And therefore OPEC seems to be trying to preemptively manage what is going on with oil prices by managing oil supply. Now, of course, the biggest cuts here are coming from Saudi Arabia, which is really one of the leaders within OPEC+. Plus. But many of the members in OPEC+, Plus have agreed to these voluntary oil production cuts. And it's why we are seeing this significant decline in oil production that is likely to come aboard, and also this significant upshot in oil prices. And therefore, this is likely to be bad news for consumers. Bad news if you're trying to fill up your car, because it is now likely to cost more, at least in the relatively near future.